Are you sure you're awake? Oh, bless you. Alright, I'm gonna sit with you. Alright, you push it in. And then pull it out. Pull, 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 pull. pull. Ugh. And if you look on the little door, it's this thing, I think. It looks like it's a train or something. I don't know. And now you can open it up and build it. Yeah. Well, yeah, let me open this. I will. And then put two more in front of them. Yeah, this is a train. And there's that yellow piece in the front. You see it? It's actually this and then the yellow piece. Yeah. Make sure it's just flat. I just been silly right now. You are silly. I'm like crazy. You are crazy. You're crazy goose. It's not crazy goose. It's actually silly goose. Oh, okay. And if I want, I can attach wheels to it. Mm-hmm. Or it actually goes. There you go. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is December 1st, so this is Vlogmas Day 1. <laughs> I look a little rough right now. I did not sleep well last night because of my throat being so um, swollen. So, um, I'm just going to be lazy today. <laughs> also, my voice may sound different because it's still swollen. I was looking into getting my tonsils removed, and it's covered by insurance if your doctor orders it. So, I might have to do that next year after the baby's born. Uh... Because our deductible will be met after she's born, <laughs> for sure. But um, then that way I can get that taken care of. And uh, I don't have to worry about it anymore. But I'm still scared. <laughs> but anyways, um, today's a vloggy type video. And I also have a bunch of working on video. You'll see that way before this. This won't come out until tonight. It is hot in here too. I thinking weather can't make up its mind. I had the heat on last night because it was cold. And then this morning... Um, when I woke up, it was already 40 degrees, which is pretty warm, you know, because the house stays way warmer than it is outside. And now it is like 60 degrees outside. I can't see the thermostat. It's 72 in here. It's hot. <laughs> Where they can't make up its mind. It's supposed to be Christmas. It's supposed to be cold. <laughs> but uh, anyways, if it stays hot like it is in here, I don't have a fever. Because I've been, you know, Devin's been checking and I've been checking. I'm not sick. What's wrong is my tonsils. Just my stupid tonsils being buttheads. But, um, I might have to bring Jesse's little fan in here if it stays as hot in here. Because I don't want to turn the air on and then turn the heat on tonight, you know, and flip it back and forth. So I'll just bring a fan in here. Anyways, <laughs> happy December. So this morning, uh, Jesse woke up at four in the morning, <laughs> wanting to open his advent, his Lego advent. So I had to get him back in bed <laughs> and tell him to wait until the school alarm goes off, which we get up at 6.30 in the morning. Um, so, and then he, he passed out and slept like a rock. Um, 
and then I, I ended up getting up at uh, 5.40 something. I love it when I wake up for the alarm because I can have a little bit of time to myself. Um, I sat here and I just watched YouTube videos and uh, when it got time to it came up, he was brought out of his town and ready to open that Lego. I took some clips of that. You probably would have already seen that uh, before now. <laughs> and um, I made me some hot chocolate because I thought it would help my throat. I made it with water instead of milk because milk makes my throat worse when it's swollen like that. Uh, it did help kind of. And then I ate some soup a little while ago just to try to soothe my throat a little bit. It's worse at night when there's drainage, you know. But, uh, yeah. I'm also taking Tylenol for it because <laughs> Tylenol just helps the pain not be so bad. But, yeah. So, that's what we did so far. We took him to school. We watched a little bit of Harry Potter 2. Devin hasn't seen the Harry Potter movies in forever. So, we watched the first one yesterday and we, wa we started watching the second one yesterday and watched a little bit this morning. We'll finish it up to, uh, this evening when he gets up. He's in bed now. I got laundry going and I got the dishwasher loaded and ready to go but I was waiting to film before I started because it it's very loud uh, and it's like right in there <laughs> so yeah but anyways uh, I got up this morning and I made two squares for my Christmas blanket I only need eight more green squares and 12 more of the uh, Aaron squares and then I gotta make 12 appliques so I'm trying hard I got it all over here on the couch I've taken over the couch. There's my Grinch. But there's all the squares I currently have. And I'm making the green ones. I'm hoping I can get them all out of this one ball. Because I don't have any more patty green. Uh, and then I'd have to buy some just to make a square or two with. But, uh, and then I got my Aaron yarn up here. I will make those squares. And then I'll start on the appliques. I started a square last night. Let's see here. Uh, boink, right there. Got it almost completely done. Like a few stitches for being done and realized I was using the wrong color. That was a green I pulled out to make my moving stitch square Vegas vacation one. And it's a darker green. And I was like, what? And that made me lose my mojo last night. So I ended up just laying it down and I went to watch TV with Jesse. <laughs> He's watching his TV before bed. So, uh, but I got two made this morning. So I need to make six more of these. And then I'm going to make the, the uh, Aaron ones and then start all the appliques. That's my plan. Because <laughs> I wanted to try to get that Christmas blanket done. Um, and then, uh, I'm really close to being done with my other blanket too as well. So I need to go check the mail. I got a package there, but I just don't really want to go. Devin's off work tomorrow, so we could probably go then. Uh, I don't have anything else I need to do today other than I'm going to try my watch work on a Wednesday video, which I have a new whip right here to, uh, share. But you guys would have already seen that. But I do have my boxes from Beverly. Let me move all this stuff out of my way. I'm taking over the couch and there's boxes right behind you, scrap balls behind you, and my big old thing of uh, stuffing. I'm just taking over the living room. <laughs> but uh, let's see, this box is the presents, like the extra presents. Yes. Let's see. She, she sent a, um, it's like the lyrics of my favorite things, the song, <laughs> which always makes me think of um, the sound of music. I don't know if that's where that song originated from. Or if it was a song before that. But it always makes me think of that movie. Absolutely that movie. And then she wrote a note on the back of it. So I will keep that. And then so she sent a box right here just full of like extra presents. I just combined it all together when I sent it to her. There's a card in there. Attached to something. It looks like it's attached. Okay, it is attached. So here's present with a card attached. I guess I'll open this one since the card's attached to it, right? But I'm going to try to spread these out over Vlogmas. I don't want to open them all in one day. That would be the fun. Okay. Oh, such a pretty card. It's got a cardinal on it. Ooh. Okay, my ring light's really bright. <laughs> you just have to trust me, it's pretty. Okay, let's see here. It says, Season's Greetings. Warmest thoughts and best wishes for a wonderful holiday and happy new year. Uh, I'll use this to store yarn so I can see. Okay, there's a note about the present that was attached to it. Oh, it's a, it's a pop up uh, hamper. Ooh, you see that? It's in plastic. 
and her note says, I use this to store yarn so I can see uh, it instead of uh, in a bin, I guess is what it says. I'm sorry, I suck at reading cursive. <laughs> this is great though. I can definitely use this for like, um, I'm gonna open it. <laughs> Like, uh, bigger projects. Ooh, ah! <laughs> this popped out. I've had these before. So that's blue. I have to hide it from Jesse. He'll, he'll want it. He wants everything. Every time anybody sends me anything, he thinks it's his. <laughs> that's just great, though. This would be good for, like, uh, blanket projects and stuff. Let's see. Where's that thing at? Okay. And then how do you, how do I... Twist it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm figuring it out. I've had one of these before, but it's been a long time. Actually, I had a bunch of these when Jesse was like a year old, and we kept his toys and stuff in it back when I could keep all his toys in one container. Um, and he had never been holes in it, but you know, he was like one. So, okay, I can't get that back. Okay, so it's gonna have to be open. <laughs> Thank you so much, Beverly. That's awesome. That is a good idea for that, too. That'd be a good thing to store finished objects in as well, because normally I use a reusable bag. Uh, all week I throw everything I finish in it and then when I film my videos I, can, I just pull that bag over there so this would be good for that as well all them squares I could put all those squares in it but yeah there are more gifts in here but I'm just gonna kind of spread them out um over vlogmas a little bit let's see where you're gonna put this I'll put it over here okay and now this next box is the yarn balls and she wrapped them so cute I, I cheaped out I just uh I lazed out, I guess. I just got little treat bags. <laughs> but she wrapped them all. Hmm. I'll choose this one. This one is going to be today's yarn ball. Let's see here. I'm just going to rip it open. <laughs> Take the ribbon off. Oh, it's a pretty color. And it's caked up. <laughs> I didn't do that. I just round them in balls. This is pretty. It's like a... Uh, claret color like a deep red burgundy color I think <laughs> oh my glasses on yeah <laughs> it's pretty oh it's so cute <laughs> there's a little baby cake it's so cute that is such a pretty color yay so I haven't talked about what I'm going to do with this these scrap balls they're approximately 20 grams each they're supposed to be but I feel like some of these look bigger than 20 grams but they might be floofier yard I know a few of the balls I sent her were, <laughs> and it's just because if I accidentally overwound it, wound it a little bit, I just left it. <laughs> but that's such a pretty color. Okay, so let me get the book. I got a boho book gifted to me. I got stuff everywhere. I gotta clean. My card. I gotta hang that up now that I show it to you guys. My yarn. Oh, Lord. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> Look at the couch. I have a, it's a mess. I need to clean it. Definitely before Jesse gets home. Okay, so I have this book that was gifted to me Ugh, fairly recently. Right here. It's called Boho Crochet, and it's 30 Hip and Happy Projects. I don't know who it's by. Look. Uh, Martingale is the publishing company. I, I could think that the projects might be by different people. Let me look at a few. Does it even say? It doesn't even say. Anyways, they look like scrap projects. See? They're boho, but boho is scrappy, <laughs> so they're scrappy projects. And what I think I'm going to make with um, my scrap balls from Beverly, I thought about making one of the blankets, but I already have a ton of blankets, so I don't know. So I found they also have pillows in here. There's three. There's this one, like a sunburst. There's this one. There's a chevron one. And then there's a granny one, I believe. Where did granny one go? I might have skipped the granny one. Oh yeah, it's right here on top. So it's these three pillows. I thought about making those covers. Because that would be cute. I love scrappy stuff and I have my scrappy blanket from last vlog. I mean, it's section in Jesse's room. He uses it a lot. Um... So I didn't know if I wanted because if I make a scrappy blanket, I'll have to use her scraps plus some of my own. But if I just use, make pillows, I could probably use mostly her scraps and maybe even have some left over. So I don't know. But if I use her scraps, I'll have to cut them up in the beginning. Or else, you know, like if I want to do this, it would be a big hunk of it would be one color. I would have to strike it. 
I don't know now. See, see, now I'm, I'm confusing myself. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I got to figure it out, though, because it's Vlogmas. I guess I might just make another um, scrap blanket, because I do have a ton of scrap balls. This blue tote over here on the floor that's like a table right there is full of my scrap balls. And I actually have them all in um, bags separated by color. <laughs> that's my green bag, because I needed green here yesterday. Because uh, I wanted to separate and make it. Oh, in the back it shows all the people who wrote them. So yeah, it is different. Uh, people who are the, they have projects. But this is a cool book. I found it on Amazon. I'll link it below if you want to check it out. Like I said, it was gifted to me, but it's I found it on Amazon, and I'll look on Thrift Books too to see if it's on there because it'd probably be cheaper on Thrift Books than on Amazon. But like they got these cute little wristlets. Like I could make in theory a whole bunch of these projects <laughs> out of these uh, yarn balls. I like this bag too. I just don't know what I'd use it for. But yeah, and there's like bubbles right here. That'd be cool if there's Christmas colors in there. Um, so this might be one of those where I have to open a bunch of them first before I figure out what I do. I don't know. I kind of wanted to work. Like last year, I, every day I opened a ball, I put it into the blanket. I don't know if I'll do that this year. I'll have to think about it throughout today. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that book. And I opened my first little gift from her. And my first yarn ball. Oh, try to shut this box. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and clean up the couch a little bit because there's stuff everywhere. I'm watching YouTube videos on my, my TV right now. I'm trying really hard to go back and comment on people's videos because I've I slacked do, uh, doing that. And I want people to know that I watch them. So I've been trying to, when I watch a video, I'll go on my phone and then comment about the video, you know. And uh, I'm trying to get better doing that because <laughs> uh, a lot of times I watch videos while I'm sewing and stuff. And, you know, time just flies by. And then I've watched, you know, 20 videos and haven't commented on any of them. So I'm trying to get better doing that. Yeah, I'm going to clear up the couch, and I'm going to go get the dishwasher started because it is loaded full and ready to go, and it's loud. So I'll probably take some clips throughout the day, maybe, <laughs> and throw them in here. And I also got to film a Watch Work on Wednesday today video here just a little bit and get it edited and up. And then I'm going to see you later, I guess, today throughout the day. Hopefully I can remember to um, record something. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, guys, I thought I'd pop back in. I'm about to start watching some of the Great British... Bacon show. <laughs> I forget what it's called. I haven't watched that in a while. Whew, Lord, I just stood up and now I'm really sore. I guess sometimes I have to just stop for a minute and <laughs> let my muscles do whatever they're gonna do. Anyways, I'm coming here to open the dishwasher so it can dry because we live in an old apartment with old appliances. I'm gonna have to set you guys down because the air fryer is in front of the dishwasher. Move out of the way. Okay. Anyways, it doesn't dry on the dry cycle. <laughs> And, um, so what I do is I just open it and let it sit there all day and it dries. <laughs> and then I, uh, deal with it later. <laughs> the dryer is done. But, um, I think I'm just going to leave them in there for now. <laughs> because I am sore. But, uh, I watched a ton of YouTube videos and I commented on every single one of them. So I'm proud of that. I wanted to come in here and show you guys my pothos. Look how big she's getting. She's still got lots of new growth on it. There's some. All these shiny leaves are the new leaves. And it's still, there's new growth. There's new growth. There's new growth. Up here's new growth. And even up here at the very top, new growth. It's not marbling anymore because it's not outside. They only marble when they're in a lot of sun. So it's, it's as marbled as it's going to get for now until next <laughs> spring when it can go back outside again. But, uh, yeah. There's some new growth. Oh, I just love this plant. It's one of my it's my favorite plant. When I first bought it, it was dried up and dead from Walmart. It was on clearance. It was like a dollar. And it had maybe six leaves up here. And now look at it. It's huge. My other plants are over here. It's about time for me to water them again. Uh-oh. Not a dead leaf. Oh wait, it's winter. I don't have to freak out. Natural for leaves to fall off. Well, my uh, gold flick lost a leaf. But, so here's my snake plant. The baby has gotten big. There shouldn't be any more because it's cold. And there's the gold flick and the ficus. The ficus has pretty much stopped growing for now. <laughs> Can you see it on there? I'm about to drop you. But it is winter, so. I still need to replant that. I just realized Jesse has shoes outside that are covered in mud. 
That must have been one day when Devin took him out to play. I just left those shoes laying out there. Ugh, boys. <laughs> gonna have to get those and clean them. All right, now I gotta try to get up out of the floor. This laundry detergent is full of needles. <laughs> My shots I've been taking, it's finally full. It is completely full. Uh, they told me to keep them in a laundry detergent bottle and then tape up this part and this part, which I still have to do that, and bring it in and they'll dispose of them. So this one's the first one. This has got 200 and something shots in it. <laughs> so I got to tape it up and take it to my appointment next week. I get off the floor. Oh, God. Whew. Okay. So I got another one in the closet now that I'm putting my new ones in. It should be about time for me to take my shot. Yeah, in 10 minutes, my alarm will go off. Yay. <laughs> I tried that, but it's just a blood thinner. People have asked. I have blood clotting disorders, and that's what uh, actually caused miscarriages. In the past so they're just treating me with um heparin it's essentially heparin it's like a knockoff brand <laughs> uh to you know keep me from clotting i have to take it all the way up till she's born and then I have to wean off of it after she's born so i still got a while to go for shots but i'm sitting here i just got done watching youtube like i said and while i was watching the last the last video i started making another square i do one more row on it i'm hoping i can get six out of this well five now and in my little thing i got today are i threw all my squares in there <laughs> and i'm gonna put the yarns back here i don't really need the red anymore unless it's for appliques uh, and i got my grinch out because i want to try to finish him today <sighs> yeah i guess that's it i kind of cleaned the living room a little bit but not much i gotta bring jesse's presents out of the closet and put down there he asked me if i could put them down there <laughs> he knew he knew that we already had them uh but I normally, we normally just put him under there. He never messes with them. He's always been real good, even when he was a baby. Um, so I'll put them under there. And then there's two presents under there right now, over that way. That are the ones that he picked out for us at that uh, re-gifting event. Uh, he told me what mine was. <laughs> and uh, he told me what Devin's was too. But I told him, I was like, we're not gonna talk about it anymore until Christmas, okay? And then my yarn I bought is under there. <laughs> I just stuck it under there. I need to put it up. But, yeah. So, I'm going to sit here and watch some of this breaking show. Uh, let's see here. I'm on collection 9, episode 2. I think that's the newest uh, season. Or, you know, collection. <laughs> um, I just started watching it. I watched one episode the other day. So, I'm going to watch this one. And probably get something to eat. And then I have to take my shot in a little bit. But, I'm going to sit here and work on squares, I think. And hopefully I can get as many as I need out of this. Because this is my last of the patty green um worst case scenario one square might just have to be a different green because <laughs> i'm not going to go buy a whole new skein of yarn just to make like one square if it comes down to that um i might have a scrap ball because like like i said this is my green scrap balls let's see this, this one kind of looks like it ah i almost dropped you guys sorry about that i look the same to you i think it is the same i can't tell <laughs> but it's close enough so, I, I have options. <laughs> but yeah, so Devin is off work tomorrow and Friday. So I'm sure we'll get into something. We might do Christmas lights on Friday night after Jesse gets out of school. I got to talk to my in-laws and see if they can meet us. Because there's one place that we all go together every year. But, you know, everybody's work schedules are so different now. I don't know if we'll get to go all together this year. But I will message them and see. But yeah, I'm going to get me something for lunch. And I'm going to get ready to take my shot because my alarm's going to go off in a few minutes. I'm going to sit here and make squares and watch people cook because it's fun. <laughs> and I actually have some baking planned for in the next few weeks because I love baking around the holidays. One thing I want to make, maybe tomorrow, is I want to make some uh, candied pecans because I found a recipe and I have all the stuff for it. <laughs> and they are so good. And uh, I want to make some. And I hope I don't ruin them. <laughs> but, and then Jesse wants to make cupcakes. And I'm sure I'll make cookies and chocolate bark at some point and maybe something else. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and I'll catch up with you guys later whenever we go pick up Jesse or something. Maybe. I don't know. Hey guys. It is later in the day. It's after 7. I, we just did Jesse's homework. And homework is really just practicing his sight words. Um, doing little sheets they call brain boosters. It's uh, just about numbers and letter sounds and stuff like that. And uh, flashcards that I sent him home with for sight words and uh, numbers and things like that. Anyways, we did that. He's in there watching TV now. And he's going to take a bath in a little bit. He wanted to watch a little bit more TV before he took a bath. So, 
Uh, I was going to record his homework a little bit, but he decided to do it in his underwear. <laughs> so I could not record that. But I today I finished uh, eight of the green squares for my Christmas blanket, which was the last eight that, of green that I needed. So now I just need to make 12 appliques and 12... Um, no, let's see here. 16 appliques and 12 uh, of the Aaron squares. And then that'll be ready to start putting together. <laughs> and I also mostly finished my little Grinch. He still needs his scarf and he needs his face. But I just finished him. <laughs> right before we did his homework, I was trying to get his body done. So now I need to pull out some scrap yarn to make his little scarf with. And stitch on his face. I thought about putting safety eyes on it and uh, then stitching the yellow around the eyes. But I just decided to go ahead and uh, just stitch it all in there. Don't know what it's going to look like. <laughs> but it, it should be done. I'm, I might finish it up tonight or uh, in the morning sometime. And have him done. He's so cute. I love him. And I love the shape of his head. Because he, he is supposed to have an onion shaped head. So I love that. My big Grinch is laying over. Because I used him as a pillow earlier when I was laying down. He's a very soft pillow. But yeah. So uh, I'm just waiting for a little while for to run his bath. And get him cleaned up. And I got to clean his fingernails really good. And his ears. Because I noticed earlier that his ears are really dirty. <laughs> He has really bad earwax. Um, anyways, let's see here. Tomorrow's Thursday. I go to the post office tomorrow because I'm supposed to be getting some diapers that I ordered there. And uh, I have a package ready for pickup. And I think there's a card in the P.O. box. I can't remember. <laughs> but I'll go uh, with Devin so he can help me carry it out because there's supposed to be two cases of diapers coming plus a package. So I'll need him to help me carry it out. But yeah, so Jesse goes to school tomorrow, Devin's off the next two days. So we might do some Christmassy Friday night. And yeah, I still haven't figured out what I want to do with my scrap balls yet. I got mine sitting over there by the computer. I probably, I think I might just start another blanket. Because that'll be something also for me to work on in January. Uh, mindlessly while waiting for the baby to come. Because <laughs> I'm going to be largely pregnant then so it'll be nice to just be able to sit here pulling scrap balls out and uh add to the blanket so i think that's just about it for uh vlogmas day one it's, it's kind of a boring day but uh they can't all be fun <laughs> and exciting but i got a lot of crocheting done today did some laundry did the dishes uh that's about it <laughs> i got caught up on some videos i need to sweep the floors but i think i'll save that for tomorrow and I really need to go clean the bathroom. But again, I think that that could be a tomorrow task. <laughs> but uh, I guess I'm going to hop off here and get this edited and up for you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. And also probably a crochet related video. Because um, I have some things that I want to share with you guys throughout the month of December. It was going to be part of Vlogmas. But uh, I didn't really structure my vlog Vlogmas well. <laughs> so I will um, just share them randomly throughout the month I think yeah but anyways I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye guys